Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with part two of our Kingdom of Navarre campaign and in the last part, if you haven't checked that one out, I recommend you go and do so. I'll leave a link for it uh, in the description or at the end of this video, one or the other. Um, there is, uh, we did take Mercia. We took Mercia with our King's uh -huh. army uh, here, the Warriors of Purity. Took Mercia for themselves from the Infidel, uh, the Almohad Caliphate. Obviously they're not really Infidels, it's just how the uh, Navarre would obviously view them. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to try and rebuild all the stuff here in Mercy. I'm probably just going to, yeah, in time, just let these, uh, yeah, rebuild these things. Uh, I'm probably going to move on to either taking out Granada or going back up north dealing with Valencia. I can bring down my other army, which is recruiting a few things, like, will, um, the Will of God, recruiting a few, uh, cavalry right now. I can bring this one down and we can then go for Valencia. I am uh, currently allied with, uh, Castile. Um, and I'm, uh, sort of allied with Aragon, but not really. Um, we're obviously fighting, uh, like the same enemies, but that is about it. They're actually at war with France as well, I didn't realise. Um, but yes, um, our main aim in this campaign is to take all of the Iberian Peninsula. So this is all of this area I'm kind of like s s highlighting now with my, uh, with my cursor. You can that is the sort of area, and obviously we'll ta take the Bale Eryx as well while they're there. But that is the main aim, is to take those, uh, this, uh, this region. And make Navarre great again. That is the main plan. Welcome, and uh, see if we can friend. do anything with Pisa. No, they hate me. Why does everyone hate me so much? Uh, nah, you wouldn't. You won't want to do anything. Uh, England, though, or we're on okay terms Hail. with England. As requested. We have non-aggression with them, and we have military access, even though we don't really need to go through their lands. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all we need to worry about. We're also all the uh, Hasfids down here. I'm not really worried about them. They're like just kind of. A bit of a nobody. I think they're a vassal, yeah, of the Almohad Caliphate. So they're just kind of like drawn into this war because of obligation, not because um, they want to be, really, I don't think. But yeah, so we'll end the turn and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But if you're enjoying seeing this campaign, because I'd like to just thank you guys for all the support that has been recently on this um, on this campaign. The, like, the first episode has done amazingly well. Um, so yeah, just keep it up, guys. I really appreciate all the support. And uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show you support to keep that support up. Like I said, these your support keeps these campaigns going. And yeah, also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when the next part of this campaign comes out. And there you go, we're at the end of the turn. That looks like the Almohads dealt with a few uh, Castilian like attacks. They were actually uh, pushed the guys back here to watch. Estramadura doing stuff. We've got a rank gain for Diego. Excellent. And he's got plus five public order in his region. That's excellent. That's a really good uh, like thing to have as a, as a governor. Pamplona uh, doing its thing. We still are making some money. A little bit lower, obviously, because of those cavalry. Can I rebuild any of these just yet? No, I actually need a little bit more money. And I would kind of like to convert them all. Convert them all. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll just... Uh, well, my troops are still re uh, like recruiting here and stuff like that, so that's fine. I am actually building a... Uh, a donated five here. I forgot about that. And we're building a military pro uh, order priory as well. That will be really cool. So I'm going to end the turn again once we've uh, upgraded Diego. Um, he doesn't really need any of those because he's a governor. I'm going to go down uh, Thinker and then I'm going to go down Bureaucrat to get that tax up. So I don't know if that will go up in the next turn. It might do that. Looks like... Uh, the Almohads are going to use their priests to uh, try and incite some sort of uh, stuff. Defensive alliance, nice. Um, that's only moderate, so I will just take it. I won't try and get some money out of them. So we now have our northern border sorted, because that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't really want uh, any more issues like up there. So obviously if I get declared war on, uh, Toulouse will come to my aid. But also if Toulouse gets declared on by, say, France, I may get drawn in. So it's a bit of a risk, but I think France at the moment's um, a bit busy with like Aragon and other stuff. The Fifth Crusade has been called, proclaimed by uh, Pope Innocent the Third. Excellent. And there you go. We can see we have our alliance now with Toulouse. Let's go down here to Mercia. Let's go and sort out. What do we want? Cattle herd, goat herd, wheat fields, or sheep herd? What is the question? What is, that's the real question. Which one do we want? Uh, food's looking okay, so I'm going to go with sheep herds. Um, this should sort out public order a little bit. It's at minus nine currently. Why are you at minus nine? Catholic Christianity is still going down. That's not good at all. Uh, religious differences, massive reason why. Uh, instability also is sorting itself out. Um, so that's okay. That's fine. Mercia can do its thing there. 
Um, can we recruit any... We could recruit priests as well. But I don't really want to do that. Not today. I'm going to end the turn. We're getting through quite a few turns. I have, um, in the last part, didn't really do much in the way of campaign. There you go. There's a huge army. That is a huge army there of the Almohads. I've just sent up. Um, and someone said in the, one of the comments, do the AI recruit armies? Well, I think that's that's pretty good evidence that they might do. We <laughs> um, with honor. There you go. Yeah, non-aggression with Aragon. That's fine. And they're going to give you 500. We would be suitably grateful. I am not going to join your war, though, against France. So they're already at war with France or Toulouse. So that's really good. So that I can't get called into a war against them. They're going to keep asking me to join, I bet. I think my city is under siege. Mercia might be under siege. I can bail if needs be. I've spent so much money. Oh my gosh. I've been called to war and arms against... Yes, very well. Again, so I'm at war with some random French faction. The Dauphin of, of something or other. Um, yeah. I'm under siege. Brilliant. Um, what is their army looking like? It looks pretty awful. What's my garrison looking like? Pretty awful as well. At your command. It's pretty even if I uh, fight this, apparently. Apparently. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing it. The range is... Uh, I mean, they've got a lot of archers. That's the thing. They've got a lot of horse archers. Uh, um, well, it may call upon... How long do you hold out before your supplies die? Five turns before your supplies are dying. Okay, I can get my army down in five turns. Um, I would like, this is my king, I could give him some really good stuff. Influence per turn, that's pretty useful. Uh, I'm going to go with integrity, and then zeal I think helps with, uh, I could do a better with authority, I think. Have authority through the roof. And if we send you south, you can come and help. Will of God, I know I should probably recruit more troops, but I don't really have the time. Let's get south, let's try and... Just get these extra few units to come and help out against Mercia. Or help out against this guy here. Um, Portugal, I feel like I, you're going to be the first on my uh, list for killing. So I'm going to leave you. I'm not going to even touch your uh, diplomacy. Uh, growth is sorting itself out quite nicely here in Pamplona though. I'm quite happy with that. And it's actually quite happy. Look at that. Oh, it's what we like to see. Um, yeah, I could, I guess, see if I could try and get Aragon and get them in an alliance. Ew. Oh, they'd like that. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're getting some alliances now. I'm going to have to break these eventually if I want to uh, obviously unite again, uh, unite Spain. But for now, the Almohad Caliphate are a bigger problem. Um, Papal States, you want I anything? Welcome you on behalf of the people. No, they just don't want anything, these people. Welcome, worthy We friend. are improving with some of I these trust people. You. Yeah, we're going to have to probably pay these people if we want to get alliances and stuff. England, I'd like to get... Be welcome. Let us talk, and then enjoy alliance. good Ooh. Roman wine. I would like to get an alliance with them. Oh, they did just take up an alliance as well. Nice. Um, so we've got a defensive alliance with them. County of Flanders. They're at, war they're at war with Wales? What? Welcome, okay. Worthy friend. I trust. Very well. Um, we'll just ignore that. And, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're just at war with Wales of Flanders. Very well. Um, there's a huge. This is a huge army. Apparently, I have a good chance of winning. I don't see it. I'm gonna bring this army across because I kind of want to do the auto resolve. Um, I could fight this huge battle, but at the same time, I just don't know how I'm gonna win it. There's so many skirmishes. These guys would just rip my cavalry to shreds. The infantry, yeah, pretty poor, but I haven't got much infantry to face it. I could go for a general snipe. He's a medium shot cavalry. All oh, this uh, javi cav as well is not gonna help. So I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to see if I can just get that other army up to come and join. And like I said, go for the uh, go for the auto-resolve. I know it sounds cheesy, but that's probably the best way I'm going to try and win this battle. No, I'm not going to join your war. You can be off them as much money as you want. I cannot deal with the French right now. Oh, it looks like the French are actually uh, sieging down Bordeaux. Or they're raiding it. No, they're definitely sieging it. I wonder who declared war on who. Ah, and they've got rebels in Palmyra. Uh, faction destroyed Castilian pretenders. Mercia is very much about to rebel, but I'm not surprised. Why can I not move so far this turn? I don't know. Apparently, yeah, we're about to rebel. That's fine. Um, Hasfid uh, Sultanate are at war with the Marinid Sultanate. Okay. And then we've got people at K 
Castellian pretenders. They are very much over here. No, they're they're not there. Castellian. Oh, they just got destroyed this turn. I think they, like the pretenders r got rose up, then got destroyed literally in turn one turn. Very nice. Um, yeah, growth is doing really nice. Um, should like be a few more turns, and we could have uh, another bit of population surplus going on here. Though I really need to put all my money into rep repairing everything that I've just had here. I don't actually know if I really want this artisan. Um, actually, I say that. I probably do. Next turn, I think we should be able to reach. Commander, to battle. Yeah, it's not as it's not as uh, good odds now. Don't know why. The client attack. We'll carry on the siege. Uh, four more turns till we run out of spikes. We're okay. We are okay. Undersigned skill for Alva. I guess I'll give you <laughs> some melee attack for your commander's unit. Might need it. Um, and then let's go. Actually, hmm. Cunning could be useful. Go like so. That'll do. One in each. Cunning and authority. Yeah, there come the rebels. It looks like uh, Castile's just said, oh my gosh, a huge army just appeared. I need to. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at this. Look at these armies. Retreat! Journey they have we huge armies left. And Scotland declared war on very, me. Very slowly during the triumphal celebrations. Why? Why, Scotland? But at least England will take you out now. But why? You could have attacked war on England and you would have brought in less people. That was bizarre. Well, Castile is really near now. Castile might be able to relieve my siege. Please do. Solar Eclipse and Pamplona, not so good. And I do get the... I don't get the help of Castile at the moment, but... They are in... I think they're in my uh, sphere. Ah, here we go, perfect. Right, bring you over here, champ. You, sir, come down here. We have three grand now. We've been building up a decent economy. Um, you have further orders? Put you there. Would that I were as swift as the there we go. And I'm just going to be aggressive. And we should win that. And we save Mercia. Close victory. We lost some spears. That is fine. I will replenish my own men from there. I don't know if I could push on. I can't because, well, that army's... Mm. I'm going to... Mm, I could. Let's see what happens. Apparently, I'd win really easily. Uh, I... Guess so. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe the Spanish units are that good. Um, they're, I know their infantry's not great, but all that cavalry, I was really worried about. Even if it's skirmish cavalry, I know what they can do. Ready for orders. Um, so yeah, we we'll just put them back in there, and now we just rebuild everything that we were dealing with. Right there, you go. Do that. Um, Will of God's here. He can get some upgrades. You can have uh, commanders. You can have a speed upgraded. Yes. And then have authority and then zeal. And this guy got nothing. I need to rebuild some of these armies. Like I said, I need these uh, military order priority sorted out. Luckily, this army's... Uh, I now know about this army. I've destroyed a huge army there of the Almohads. But yeah, they are definitely recruiting units, I have a feeling. Because I destroyed a lot of their armies. Unless they still had lots of big stacks. But I destroyed a lot of their armies up here. Like, not in the north. Around here, like Valencia. I destroyed a lot of them. Um... But yeah, there we go. Yes, they've taken Bordeaux, actually, of the French. So, well done to them, I guess. They're raiding their own territory, though. Fools. Absolute fools. Um, yeah, I don't know where England's armies are. They're all the way here. Okay, I think England might be dealing with Wales. Um, but they're also going to have to deal with Scotland. So, uh, good luck with that, England. Do apologise. Yeah, I'm in really good like terms with everyone around here. Uh, even England. Um, Wales are at war with England, yes. Flanders just declared, they're not even allied with England, they just declared war on Wales for some random reason. I wonder if this is just not going to be a thing. I welcome you on behalf of the people. I could get Pisa welcome on side with a, maybe a non-aggression, but I don't really I need... Trust you bring words that will no, I'd actually honor. rather not. I'd rather not actually. I've always spent, oh yeah, I spent money on rebuilding stuff. 2,000 I have left in the bank. I thought I had three. I have 2,000 still. Yeah, Castile sent in their army north, no surprise, wanted to go and defend. Toledo, they've gone into Valencia, okay. They want to join, join the war, no. 
So Aragon is going to try and take Valencia. I don't know if they have the army. Balance power would say they, like they would. Like they have the quality to do so. Like we have the quality to do so. But I'm not really sure if we do. Like when you then get onto the battle map. I think the AI is clever enough that it could use its Javi cavalry and stuff like that really effectively. But then again, I'm also I'm talking about the AI. It probably can't. The Holy and there we go. We have peace. our uh, crusade. But when it is Christendom itself that is threatened, then it is every Christian's duty to defend all that is holy. His Holiness the Pope has called a crusade to reclaim the Holy Lands from the infidel, who would deny Christian pilgrims their right to visit the holy places. It is time for the armies of Christendom to put aside their differences and unite under one banner, the sign of the cross, and give back God's children what is rightfully theirs, or die trying. Yes, a crusade for Cairo, of course, of course, it's the uh, fifth crusade for Cairo, um, which in history fails. Uh, I don't know if anyone really turns up. I think they do. I think quite a lot of people actually do go. The French, I think, are the most notable that go. Um, but we're not going to worry about them. And the Portuguese declared war on the Almohad Caliphate as well. That is uh, pretty major. But, yeah, I'm not really going to care about the uh, Crusade. I know that I should, being a big uh, Catholic. But, you know, I just don't really... Can't see, can't see myself doing it. Water mill, there we go. Let's give ourselves a water mill. Um, we've got... Uh, plus one state religion now. We've done the gothic architecture. We could go down, do construction cost. I think I'm going to go with growth. Go that 10 and like get the two plus growth and uh, stuff like that. So that'll be really good. Help with uh, expanding like Mercia and Pamplona. And Pamplona is really uh, flourishing right now. Not giving me a lot of money, but it's flourishing in people. Ready for orders. Um, I can now get all of these really cool units as well, which is exciting as hell. Oh my gosh. Spanish Order Foot Knights. Are we limited to so many? Uh, no, it doesn't seem so. That's really cool. Uh, I am going to definitely get myself some decent swords. I'm gonna, what are the cheaps? Oh my god, they're all really expensive. Maybe I won't be getting too many of these guys. I won't be spamming them anyway. I'll get myself two Spanish Order Foot Knights. I can only get one. Wow. Um, oh, money. I think it's money. Yeah, I have like no money. I'll get myself one Spanish Forward Foot Knight, and then I can solid out. I did lose an infantry unit, so getting another infantry, pretty useful. Um, Valencia's garrison. Look at that garrison. I mean, it's huge, but I don't know how good these guys are. Light spears, light melee, light bow, light crossbow. Yeah, light slinger, light... Eh, yeah, only them cavalry's actually medium. Everything else is pretty... Oh, and these uh, and Lucy and Heaven crossbows, they're pretty solid. Their army, I don't know how good, was pretty okay. It was a bit beaten up, though. Pamplona, I could do with maybe building a uh, another another thing that's going to bring in like tre uh, cheaper units, possibly. I don't know. Mercy actually uh, can give us a lot of cheap units in a moment, uh, in three turns' time. So we can build up our armies there. I might just have our Pamplona as like an industrial and a like an e economic uh, hub. I don't really need it for... Uh, Military expeditions anymore. I've now got Mercia just for that. So we'll end the turn. Building our Spanish foot knights now. Um, they want a military alliance, do Castillo. Yeah, okay, I'll take that for now. Like I said, I'm going to have to break some of these alliances. I'm fine doing that later. We request that you join this war. I'm not joining the war against France. I'm sorry. Even if they've got, I've got buffers between myself and France, I do not want to be in a war with France. Especially when my capital's there. But it's good to see that France, uh, like the Catholic nations, nations are now fighting each other. Like France, fighting uh, like on all fronts at the moment against England, uh, Aragon, Toulouse. Um, interesting to see Scotland declare war on me, and they're at war with England. Flanders at war with Wales. That's an interesting one. But I'm glad to see these sort of things happening. Uh, France now at war with the Ubers Sultanate. They're going on ca uh, crusade by the looks of it. England and Wales made peace. So I wonder whether they now England's about to go on crusade. Um, our money is also still doing quite well. Oh yeah, we've uh, dealt with any worries of rebellion happening here. Uh, I was building a sheep herd, wasn't I? Yes, Mercia, and that's done. Okay, fair enough. Nothing I can do over here in the way of stuff. I could build more infantry or more army, like more troops. Might be the best thing to do. Oh, all this cavalry is so expensive. 
Look at that Spanish Order Foot Knight. Uh, Spanish Order Knight. 463. They're going to cost. Jeez, they're so good. Rare Bruder as well. And uh, actually, the best one we'd get would be the Sarant Bruder. They're um, only medium shot cavalry. It's going to be very expensive armies. It's going to be small but ex uh, expensive armies. But I've got enough cavalry in this army. This is an alright army for cavalry. Uh, I'm going to get more Spanish Order Foot Knights. Yeah, maybe I can only get a certain amount. I've already had an upgrade out for me. Which is fair enough. I don't need too many. I'm going to have a small like collection of really good troops. And then I'll have my more like spammed out spears Commander. and stuff. Which will be my main army. Um, Will of God. I could debate about starting going for Granada. Once like Ready this army is slightly more gathered up. And like, I've got this army as well. So I've got 5 units here. I'll have 10 there. Could probably see down Granada. Just have to keep an arm, eye on this army here in Valencia. And though Mercy has not really stabilized itself, Palma, Palma in like the Balearics over here, it just keeps having rebellions, and somehow they keep putting them down. It's about to have another one. Minus ninety, and it's already. Oh, it's also a really like Catholic nation, uh, like region. I might go and take Palma out next. Actually, not like a bad spot to go and take. It's pretty like isolated yeah that might be actually an idea to take out i can just then hold on to mercia there we go spanish old foot knights personal oh that's really good for him alvar though he's not of my family though theobald now needs to marry so we could get him a marriage with someone who would marry in our good name theobald in our good name, be welcome and Leona, yes, there we go, and here we go. I can words. demand a load of money off you for your... Yes, here we go. The broken dowry system is still a thing. Hi, and I just got five grand out of marrying Theobald to a Castilian. There we go. That's what we like to see. So now Theobald could be a general, if we need him to be, Ready or a borders. governor, one or the other. Uh, and look at that, we can just upgrade all of this. And we can got some really cheap and effective units. Look at this. These guys are pretty solid. Militia. They're not so solid, these like spears. But those archers, those bows could be pretty good, I bet. I've got these um like jabby cavalry on cavalry again. Can't get any more Spanish Lord Foot Knights. Slingers. I mean these guys might be okay, they might not be. Let's let's just go like that. Um I don't know if you can do yeah, if it's different stuff. So if I had a four, I could get Lansari, Zaldunuk, Zaldunuk, and like the better stuff. Um, which is a shame. I mean, I could change it now if I wanted to. Not that I'm really fancying doing that. At your command. Can be a. Uh, can be what it's uh, it command. is right now. Um, is Islam churning around here? Yeah, Catholic Christianity is going up. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm gonna build a priest here. I thought I could build a priest here. Maybe not. Can I build a priest in Pamplona? Is that where I can build it? No, I can't build one anywhere. I missed my chance of building one then. Mercy, I could build uh, a forge mill, which brings down public order, which I'm not such a fan of. This will bring us down tax rate and food consumption. Again, not a fan of. I really want to just kind of maybe save my money then. This is slowly growing, so that might be the uh, the, the plan to do. I might spend some more money on an army for this like army because uh, the other one's going to go across to Pal Palma. Could get some bows, light bows. Um, they're not as good as my crossbows, I guess, but they're pretty good. Yeah, they're slightly worse, but I'll get these guys. Get some get some bows, and I'll get some more light. Uh, like this light skirmish cavalry is actually quite effective. So I'm actually, let's, hmm. no, I think, yeah, we're okay. I think we can get that. I was just debating this army here. It's actually being sieged out, I think. No, it's not. They're just starving. So it might be an idea to go for them. In Valencia, take out a huge stack. We've got a few options what we can go for. I'm going to just stick with that for them because then I can keep Commander. keep this army mobile. Mercy is getting happier by the second which is really good. End the turn. Alvar, I'll give him tax and we'll give him wealth as well so that should help the economy. Improve those taxes and improve that economy. 
Oh, he's gonna go north. Wow. He's going all the way north to Pamplona. We Very well. Friendship and look forward to receiving gold in abundance as you a, a piece. Of goodwill. Uh, we value friendship. Yeah, I didn't think so. Very well, Scotland. Carry on your war. They're losing so bad. Oh, Toulouse is getting sieged down. Not so good. My honorable master uh, they want... Talk yeah, gold. I'll give you a non-aggression, and I'm fine giving 200 gold for a non-aggression. Pamplona is about to get sieged by the Almohads. Um, so I'm going to go and siege down Valencia. I'm going to see whether we can uh, stop them in time. I might be able to get my allies to go and save Pamplona. We'll see. If not, I can send my... Um, both my armies, and then hopefully we can take it quickly enough. I think Emirate of Granada has just popped out, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. The Emirate of Granada has just popped out of the Almohad Cal um, Caliphate in Seville. And the legacy of Rome is a foreign trespasser, Kingdom of France. Oh, I think he's left since then. I don't know, Christianity's elite. How good is this army? It's a pretty, like, low-integrity army. Valencia is just there for the taking. It's actually got banged up walls as well. Let them like let's take that. I was going to take Palma, but let's take Valencia. It's right here for the taking. Let's put some rams up, some towers up. Take my other army, and I'm just going to sit it next to it. Just go, so, we know, so we know we can definitely take it. This army then won't come back and try and cause us any issues. This garrison is pretty awful. We yeah, we should take that easy next turn. I am fine with letting Pamplona get besieged. I'm pretty sure it's garrison can hold for a little while. Yeah, it's got a pretty solid garrison. It's going to be annoying because the growth is going to disappear, which I was about to just like pop in. Yeah, Mercy's not so great. I'm going to have to send one of the armies back to Mercy when I'm done. Um, but it is getting better. It's getting better. It's really just differences are going to a, a changing slowly. Not quick enough, but they're changing slowly. Um, again, money. I don't really have much like what I want to spend my money on. I can't have more armies. I don't know when I can change that. Summary. Uh, not for a little bit. Maybe after this army I can... Uh, like after I take this settlement I might be able to do it. We'll see. They're actually going to come out and face me. Well, I'm just going to resolve it. That was a really strange decision. Um, but there you go. The Spanish... And not Spanish, the uh, Almohads kind of just suicidally just charge, charge my lines there. Oh, they're bringing up another stack for Mercia, there you go, and they're not going for Pamplona anymore. Um, so I'll leave the small army probably in Valencia because it's pretty safe there. And I'll send the large army back to Mercia because Mercia's in need of, um, need of some help. Or it might be the other way around, I might have to send the small army, but that's fine. Either, either one, I think, can do fine. They've got garrisons now. Kill the battle. Mongol invasion. There you go. The Mongols have arrived. So, there's another issue. Mercy is about to rebel. About to be put under siege as well if I don't stop it. Uh, yeah, I don't actually need this army here, I just realized now, because they sallied out and attacked me. Why I didn't take that, I don't know. But I shouldn't need that army anymore. So I'm just going to send it back. And um, yeah, we can just take it just like so. We have only 800 men to do so. But these brave 800 men will take the city. Didn't lose anything. That's good. And then we'll occupy. And Valencia is ours. And we carry on this reconquista on our own. I don't see any of the other Spanish factions doing it. They might go for Zaragoza, I wonder now. Because this is very much unoccupied. They're, making, they're a long way from home, put it like that. Um, castle here. Yeah, could use it. Um, I'm going to repair most of the stuff. What could I turn that into? Militia quarters. Yeah, I actually, that would be quite useful. I can repair that. And what could I turn that into? A lot of different things. So yeah, we'll repair that one as well in Valencia. I think we could turn most of that stuff into useful stuff. Um, again, what do I want? I would like... I could have plus morale when laying siege. Quite useful. Recruitment time for noble units I want down. Yes. Um, definitely. And I might put replenishment on. Or integrity. What's the integrity like in this army? Oh, it's going up by 9 a turn. I'm okay. Uh, replenishment, I think, then. Just keep that replenishment so we can just get the armies moving quicker. This one's pretty happy. I could put that in for, like, forge mill. But I'm not really that bothered about that. This general here, though, he needs upgrading. 
Uh, personal influence, yes. And... Campaign movement would be nice to get to, actually. So I'll go down this one, get recruitment cross uh, load for non-mercenary units. Which is good, because that's all we can get is non-mercenary units at the moment. Not that we can recruit anything in these provinces. Pamplona, its growth is going to be saved. So that's great. And we may be put under siege again in Mercia, like I said. Like I said, this army may come across to try and siege itself. They still have big stacks. Do the armor hats. I don't know why they haven't gone to war with Granada. Maybe they have. I just haven't realized. Are they at war with... I can't even see Granada. But they aren't at war with Granada. They're at war with all of the Muslims. Uh, like, all the Christian states, but no one else. Uh, requesting privilege of accompanying another more experienced character so you may gain experience from their exploits. Yeah, you can become a retainer of my... Uh, of, your, of your dad. Become his retainer. Uh, it's signed provincial governor. I don't really want to make Theobald my governor. I'd rather keep him to become generals and stuff like that. Defender, morale and defending, merchant. Yeah, let's have you as a merchant. And then let's put that in for growth. Valencia, there we go. The Almohads are just using their blooming priests and stuff like that. They don't want to go to war. They don't want to attack people with their armies. Use their priests. They're more deadly, probably, actually. And they're going to try and stop... Oh, they just killed the general. And they are going to come back for Pamplona. What are they doing with that army? They haven't decided, have they? Toulouse to really wants me to join a war against France. I cannot. They are literally like... Oh, France has... Toulouse has uh, lifted the siege of Toulouse. They've beaten back those two French armies. Give them credit there. They're holding on to Toulouse. They're doing a good job. Well, they can beat... Hold them back. And either French... Uh, not the French. The uh, English to land in the north. The English are too busy killing the uh, Scots right now to care about that. Oh, a load of factions have popped out in this time. Um, yeah, he's just encouraged to send. What a nice man. And what else did he do? Chuchli okay, yeah, yeah. Chuchli just happened. Yeah, we've got food storage in Valencia. Not great. We're sorting that out. What did he burn a building or something? I don't know. Um... I'm going to go for someone that's going to give me a lot of food. Goat herd might be the one. Or oh, cattle herd, actually. Go for a cattle herd. And then, do you want to convert? Well, that one's going to cost a lot more. We're making... Yeah, we're not making a massive amount of money. We could just save up the rest of the money so we can get... Ecclesiastical domain. I don't really want that. I kind of want a castle. I want a castle. Or a large city. Large city would be quite nice, actually. Or a, or a castle. Because that gives Ozanek Kapari, which is an interesting uh, sword unit like down there at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I'm going to save up 6,000 for that, I think. The Granada are now at war with the Almohad Caliphate, so I wonder why that, if that's going to turn some stuff around for uh, the Almohads. Pamplona has actually just had a, uh, a growth, so I might actually spend the money here, actually. A silver deposit. That would be useful. Um... Corruption minus uh, plus one in current value faction. Why? That's not so good though. Um, got plaza. What can we put into plaza then that could then be better? Quite a lot of stuff. We could have a bullfighting. Gives a lot of money from culture. Fairground does do some damage to stuff, but it's pretty good as well. Library. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with a, uh, a plaza, I think. Unless, what was that? Blacksmith? No, that doesn't really help with money. Yeah, let's go with a plaza. I just spend all my money, but, like, that's... And I was going to spend it on a castle, but I know, like I know I said. But... We need to make, we need to make money to, uh, we need to spend money to make money, I guess. Uh, and that's, plaza can help boost the economy a little bit better. Hopefully we can get some more children. That's not the wrong one I was going to go for. I hope we can get some more children so we can uh, improve. Um, like uh, we can get some more dowries going. Hopefully. I mean we've got a lot of... Uh, luckily all these guys here are pretty loyal. Loyal to their king. Uh, you're a general. 
What could we do for that? That gives integrity personal influence. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Alvar Marshall. Baron. Um, yeah, you can be a Baron of the Exchequer. So that really helps. And then you're also a governor, so you can be a Baron of the Exchequer. There you go, sir. You're all of them. At your and then we could bo boost this army up, but I don't really want to. I think I really want to spend it on. Mercy's got a pretty decent garrison now, so there's no need to build troops to defend Mercia. Yeah, this garrison's pretty solid. But that is where as I, I am going to wrap up today's episode. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see some more Navarre action going on, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show support. And also, leave a, uh, make sure you hit the bell so you know when the next uh, Navarre episode is coming out. I think in the next episode, uh, we'll probably try and take out Palma. It's now very isolated. Um, we could go for a Cordoba next as well, or maybe Granada. And uh, then we can also really start thinking about maybe, well, we'll be wrapping up the uh, Almohads pretty quickly, I can imagine. I imagine Badajoz here will uh, fall to uh, will fall to the Pope's well, to C uh, Castile. They'll imagine they'll take that pretty easily. Yeah, probably. Um, so then we can think about maybe declaring war on Portugal. I don't know if they've got any allies. Um, just quickly having a look. They have allies with the Gr Granada, okay. Um, so we could take out Granada and then go for Portugal. I think um, Portugal might have liberated Granada. That might be the issue. Well, no, it's not an issue, but that might be the reason why they popped out. But anyway, like I said, um, I will. this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.